Hello friends, Daniela here from Wondersource Creative. And in this video, you will be learning how to create a PDF in Canva that you can then make fillable, typeable, editable, however you want to call it. So this is perfect if you have a freebie or any other PDF guide, a checklist that you want your clients to actually be able to type in. So let's begin. Okay, so the first step is to go to Canva and create your own PDF. So I will be using this page from my free guide on how to create a high converting homepage. So if you're interested, I'll leave the link down below for the whole guide. It's very valuable and it has a lot of fillable spaces that you can type in. So after you create your guide or your PDF, um, the, all you're going to do is create some boxes. So I'm going to go to graphics. And then I'm going to use a square, click on it, and then we're just going to resize it and adjust it. So this is going to be right here. So I think that looks good and now I'm just going to change the color to my brand colors. Perfect. And now I'm just going to duplicate this for the next one. Perfect. And I'm just going to do the same for the last one. Perfect. So I have my boxes. I'm happy with the design. Now all we have to do is save this. So again, save it as a PDF. I'm just going to do PDF standard. Download. And now we are going to go to this amazing site where we can actually make our PDFs typeable. So we're going to go to pdfscape.com. And again, this is a free resource, no need to pay anything. And I, I just love this because you can make anything uh, pretty much fillable, typeable, editable. <laughs> so now I'm just going to drag in my PDF, wait for it to load. Great. And once we're here, we have to go to form field and then click on text paragraph, click select. And now we're just going to draw a box. Perfect. You can adjust it, make it bigger, smaller. It's up to you, but I'm just going to make it the same size as my previous box. And now all you have to do is uh, select the font that you want. I want Verdana and then just select the size and you can even select the color. But let's leave it at black. And now we're just going to duplicate this box. So just right click duplicate, and then drag it to the bottom. Perfect. So again, right click, duplicate, and drag it to the bottom. Amazing. And once we have our boxes, we're just going to hit on the green icon right here to save and download. Perfect. So now let's open our PDF to see what we've created. So as you can see, I can type. Amazing. How easy was that? So I really hope that this was helpful and please comment down below how you will be using this feature. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to send me a message or an email. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.